Hey guys, with the new generation of consoles on the horizon, the Astro headsets require some updates because things are different. Specifically, no more optical connection comes with the new generation consoles. It's simply USB now and less wires for you to worry about. But no panic, I am going to show you how to set up your Xbox Series X with your Astro A50 wireless. So let's do the thing. My name is Wiz and thanks for tuning into the channel and I really appreciate it. So once you set up your Xbox Series X, then it's time to set up your Astro A50 wireless headset for gaming. This could be any of the Astro headset, but I only have the A50 wireless fourth generation, so that's the one we're gonna set up. Now, the most important thing is to head over to astrogaming.com and download the latest firmware version for your headset. You can download it from the Microsoft Windows Store or straight from the Astro website. Links will be in the description. Either way is fine, but I think the Astro version is a little bit more stable as the making of this video, but use what's best for your situation. In any case, once you download the firmware update and install it to your computer, here are some options to set up the headset. These are the options that work for me, but you can tweak them to your preference. Now that you set up the headset from your computer, you can take the USB cable out of the computer USB port and it's time for the Xbox Series X. Connect the USB cable from the Astro base station to an available USB port in your Xbox Series X and make sure you switch from PC to Xbox from the Astro base station. Now your Xbox Series X should recognize the headset automatically. Once that happens, now go to settings on your Xbox Series X menu. You can do that by pressing the Xbox logo on your controller, then click on settings. Click the general tab. Move down to volume and audio output. Go down to party chat and output and select headset. Now to the right on the headset audio, click headset format, then choose Dolby Atmos for headphones. Then you can go back to Xbox main menu screen. Now, if for some reasons you don't have Dolby Atmos, you need to download it. Your A50 wireless headset should come with a two year activation for Dolby Atmos. So you should not have to pay for Dolby Atmos. Now for Dolby Atmos to work, you need to download Dolby Access from the Xbox store if you don't already have it. Let's launch the Dolby Access app. Then tab over to settings. There you can click on game, that's the first option on top. And to the right, you can just turn on performance mode and just call it the day. And you are set to game. But you can also use custom setup. So let's go down to custom one and let me show you how this works. All right, now we are in Dolby Access, AKA Dolby Atmos. So let's tab over to settings and uh, we can choose game, which is the top option. And we can go here and then just click it on. Now, if we put this on, that means we are ready to game. We can just go and do our thing, but that's not why we're here. So we can turn this off and now let's go back to custom and I'm going to show you how custom work. All right. So you can set it up based on your preference and what you want to do, what kind of sound, if you're playing competitive game, so you can hear sounds, hear footsteps and stuff like that. Now I'm going to give you some settings, some numbers that you can set up for yourself and you can make it work or you can choose whatever you like. So the numbers I'm going to give you from left to right, there are 10 options. So the first one is going to be one plus five minus one minus two minus one plus one plus three zero minus one and plus one. This means that number 10, the last one, the last column is going to be plus one that you're going to set up the number. Now, let me show you how to set up the number. It's a little tricky. There's no number for you to see how you're setting it up. So it's a little tricky. So I'm going to show you. So you, as you can see right now, it says zero DB and it says 12 DB on top and you also have minus 12 DB on the bottom. So the best way to know which number, how you set up the number. All right. So let's set up the first column, the first column. Let's say I said plus one, right? So for the plus one, you can see I'm at zero DB right now. So the best way to know which one that you're clicking is go all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom and you can count down. For instance, I'm going to start from 12 DB 
and it's gonna be 11, it's gonna be 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is plus one. And once you get the numbers that you want, then you just click A again on your controller, and then you can move to the next one. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. Since I said the number is plus five for this one, so I'm gonna move all the way to the top. So it's gonna be 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So that's plus five. That's where you are with plus five. So you can do this for all the other ones and then until you get the result that you want. And then once you get that, just go on the bottom where 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 it says enable just click enable or apply whichever one and you can do the same thing for custom two or custom three you can also create another custom where you start at zero and then just pick the numbers that you want and then every time you want to do it just click enable and then that way you can set it up for yourself every time you want to play a game or you want to play music or you want to play a movie or whatever you're trying to do that is it guys, that's it for the settings for the Astro A50 wireless in your Xbox Series X. So hopefully you found this very helpful. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later.